Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I like to cook for you, do grocery hauls, what's for dinner, dessert, which is exactly what I'm going to be bringing you today. I am making a cinnamon roll poke cake. All of the flavors that we love in cinnamon rolls will be in the cake. All right, y'all, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, let's get started. Okay, everyone, that's cinnamon roll poke cake. This is going to happen in three easy steps. The first one is going to be we're going to make the cake per the instructions on the back of the box. We're going to cool it down. Then we are going to make that delicious cinnamon brown sugar mixture that you usually find swirled inside the cinnamon rolls. Well, that's going to go into the cake afterwards. And then the third step is going to be that delicious cream cheese icing that we're going to put on it. All right, if you're ready, I'm going to go ahead now and start making the cake per the instructions on the back of the box. Whatever brand that you were using, just follow the cake instructions on the back and then um, allow it to cool completely before we start the second step. All right, well, let's get started. Alright, so I'm using a 9 by 13 baking dish and I'm going to spray this with a nice cooking spray very lightly. Put my cake batter in. Alright, just going to even it out. All right, y'all, I'm ready to put this in my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees, and I'm going to bake it per the instructions on the back of my cake mix box. I'm going to allow this to cool completely, and then we're going to be back to make our next layer. Okay, so my cake is out of the oven, and I have completely cooled it down, and I'll look how beautiful that looks. All right, so the second step is we're going to make the brown sugar cinnamon mixture that we're going to pour onto the cake. And what we need to do first though, because this is a poke cake, is, is I'm gonna use the back end of a spatula. You can use the back end of a wooden spoon or any kind of big utensil that has kind of a rounded end. And then I'm just going to poke it all into my cake. Alright, so what we're going to do now is take just a medium bowl and we're going to add half a cup of brown sugar, four tablespoons of melted butter, I have one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk that I'm going to pour in. All right, I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's scrape all that off of there because we're going to use a whisk. And just a little pinch of salt. I'm just going to take my whisk and whisk this all together. Oh boy, you know where I'm going with this. Oh. Y'all want a decadent dessert? Mm, mm, mm. 
All right. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, it tastes like a cinnamon roll. All right, I'll bring my cake back over here. All right, what I'm going to do now is pour this mixture that I just made all over the cake, and I want to get it into the holes. So kind of make sure you pour it over the holes. All right, so we're going to finish this off by making the icing for our cinnamon roll poke cake. And you're going to need two bowls, and then you're just going to need your hand mixer, some vanilla, butter, cream cheese, some heavy cream, just a little pinch of salt, and I got some powdered sugar here. So we're going to begin the first step. We're going to take half a cup of our heavy cream, just put it into a small bowl there. I'm just going to beat that until we get stiff peaks. All right, so I've got some solid peaks going on here. Perfect. So what we're going to do now, take some of that off of there. All right, I'm going to put my big, just a medium bowl now, what we're using right here. We're going to put our eight ounces of softened cream cheese into it. I'm going to add my four tablespoons of softened room temperature butter. We're going to combine these two with our mixer. I'm just going to use the same one. So it's all creamed together. All right, we're going to go ahead now and add our one cup of powdered sugar. All right, we're going to mix this until nice and smooth. All right, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, pinch of salt, mix that up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take my whipped topping. All right, and then we're just going to fold it into our cream cheese mixture here. All right, I'm going to bring my cake over. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take my frosting, my icing here, and smear it all over the cake. And we're going to ice it. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for 20 minutes so that it can set up and then we're going to give it a try. All right, it's been in the refrigerator for, I'll have to say, probably over 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm getting ready to cut a slice out of here for us so we can give it a try. There we go. Can you see the pokes? <laughs> Alright, you know I'm ready for this one. Oh. Mm. Mm. Alright y'all, go get your flavors for cinnamon roll and put it into a cake, I'm telling you. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm hmm Is that a pretty pretty cake? Alright, y'all. Be patient with it. Give it lots of love, and that's what you're gonna get right there. Simple basic stuff out of your pantry and refrigerator. Alright. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Make sure you comment down below what you think. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, I will see you on my next episode. Mm.